Hello. Now, onward to the trial. Day one. Sorry about that. I was kind of drinking something. You know, I do that kind of often, maybe. So, you know, thirsty and stuff like that, whatever. <clears throat> The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show that the court died at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th. The defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed the hein heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to the fact. Hum, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face. Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe the case to the court. This yeah, this case, the, okay. uh, that kind of seemed awkward for some reason. Uh, yes sir, I'll explain what, with this guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. Uh, this the main gate to the studios. Uh, the security leader that works out at the studios was here at 1pm that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that area are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body is found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim and Jack Hammer went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead or two later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spirit was found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? No way! Skip it. Come on, Phoenix. Come. That's not that much. Whatever. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Sarah Spear added to the court record. Yay. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security office to the stand. Oh, Wendy old bag. Damn it, why do we have to do this? But will, the, will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please? Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please? Seems Edgeworth is a bit of a trouble getting his witnesses to say their name. When the old bag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. It's my first name. Even when I was young, I was not an old bag, but I saw a lot of children make fun of my name. Can you believe it? But there was this boy, the cat in the chest of club and junior. He called me an old bag. She cried because I had a crush on him. Blah, blah, blah. Objection. I, I object to the, the, to the witness's talkativeness. Objective. Uh, objection sustained. The witness will. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate the day of the murder, correct? You say I was. 
And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know, your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She serves one hell of an old bag. What's the uh, count? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. I will have some errands to run that morning. Anyways, 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by right by me at 2 o'clock. It was Powers. That man right there and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Huh? Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. So we got to find the contradiction. Yeah. So on the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard at one station, 1 p.m. Don't want to, can't find any more details on that. There'd be no reason to try to find any more details on that. What else could she possibly say? What she was doing? No. Don't care. So I have an idea of what it should be, right? Interesting to me, this, because a certain man right, walked right by at me at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna press this. I think this is the suspicious one. Two o'clock, you sure? Sure as Smith. Well, who was that man? Really, you should try to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. <laughs> now, now. Don't get your skeevies, skeevies all the bunch. I'll tell you what it was. <coughs> so you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said. Got wax in your head, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. You had time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. I have an idea what should I I should put in the photo boom cuz that doesn't really show that's actually powers it just shows the steel samurai outfit which that's no no not the steel samurai yeah steel samurai so let me get the straight old bag er miss old bag you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers correct but you're talking about the man in this photo aren't you just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. I mean, none other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Uh, Miss Oldbag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can play and see that's Powers, right? Um... Yeah. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Ah, uh, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in the course accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? <laughs> Even Edge was a surprise. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know? How was I to know that everyone would be no so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speeches. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. 
More testimony than man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through of the action scene, I saw Power Stripper Ball. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at the picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew his powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. The man in the photo. I never say with fear what it is. I never say anything I don't mind. Probably not that. In the morning during the run through the action scene. Maybe. So let's just press everything. Who was present at the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai, the, the Borrowed Hammer, the Evil Magistrate, eh? and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving background backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. I saw Powers trip and fall. Let's press her for this. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be a steel samurai. What a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You you helped him make it better. I kissed it where it hurt. Uh Ah. Ah. Uh, uh. Too much information. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? I like that stricken off the record. <laughs> no. Uh, where was this assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up... Uh, oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. She broke one of the props. He broke prop? Sure he did. His own samurai... Sure did! His own samurai spear! The samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad they couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me, which is... Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking through. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? I object, because I have nothing else to do. It's my only weapon. Hold it right there, we keep talking about possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Oh my god, Wendy. <laughs> the time before Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. That's it? Damn, that's like nothing to work on. 
So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Time for Hammer's death is 30, true? The only person I saw good at the studio before then was Will Power, so let's press this for more details. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody's suspicious of looking past by at all. Nobody's suspicious looking, right? No one else went there. Let's find out what we can get out of this. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 o'clock? Well, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... Yeah, I would have seen him. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, Edgy Boy. Edgy Boy? Well, the windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old, old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. For that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Oh, boy. That's one of those. Press, how do you know that? And then I just explained. I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. I believe he already did all the details. Did I? Let's see. Alright, so no one else went there. Oh, I know. No one else went there? Well, I don't believe so, because this photo actually says photo number two. 